Hey everyone and welcome back to another movie review. Today I've got one of my highly anticipated films of last year that I'll be reviewing and it's the new Leonardo DiCaprio Martin Scorsese film The Wolf of Wall Street. So The Wolf of Wall Street is a new biographical crime comedy film. It's kind of a dark comedy film about the true life of Jordan Belford and he was a stockbroker on Wall Street in the late 1980s, early 90s and he made his own company called Stratton Oakmont which was a stockbroker company and he made a lot of illegal money out of um, some of the wealthiest people in America out of this company. So Jordan Belford is played by Leonardo DiCaprio who's my favourite actor so I was really looking forward to seeing his performance and this is definitely one of, his, one of his standout roles. I think he did great in this performance. It's one of those roles where you see beyond the actor and you see the character that they're playing and you're not actually thinking of the actor at the time. And his best friend in the film Donnie Azoff is played by Jonah Hill who also does fantastic in this role. His wife in the film Naomi is played by Margaret Robbie who is an Australian actress from the Neighbours series so that was good to see. There's also a lot of other great cast members in the film that may only appear for certain times like Matthew McConaughey who was only in the film for about 10 minutes but he's really good in the film. Uh, Rob Rayner plays Jordan Belfort's father in the movie and Kyle Chandler plays the FBI detective who's on the case in the film and he's really good as well. So this movie is about 3 hours long so 180 minutes so it's quite a long film but it's very fast paced and it keeps your attention the entire time and that's one of the things this film has going for it. It's not a slow film, it doesn't actually slow down at any point in the film, it's constantly going, throwing stuff at you and just keeping up with this fast pace the entire time which is something really hard to do because they're throwing a lot at you it's a very um, filled movie, they've got a lot of different scenes happening spanning over a few years and it's just constantly crazy and in your face all the time. So the basic thing in this movie is the fact that Jordan Belford is making all this money illegally. He's been doing it since his early 20s and he's really good at selling things to people but he's doing it the shonky way, the illegal way and he's making millions and millions of dollars off people by getting them to invest in his company. Stratton Oakmont and he gets 50% of each investment I think so they're making lots and lots of money illegally. So you also get to see the amount of wealth and stuff that these people who are millionaires just have and like he's got a yacht, he's got a massive mansion, he's got a Ferrari, a helicopter, all the drugs and women he could pretty much want under the sun because he's, he's constantly using drugs, all his friends are using drugs and they're off their face for most of the film so it's, it makes a lot of the scenes really funny that's why it kind of is classified as a dark comedy because it it has a lot of comedic scenes. So I really wanted to see this movie because of how highly anticipated it was. It's um, one of the best films of 2013 by far. Um, everything about it just makes a decent film. It's really good. There is quite a lot of bad language in it though. Um, I think it sets the record for <laughs> For, um, that so there's quite a lot of that in it and a lot of other stuff too but the performances were great the story was really interesting and three hours long usually a movie will slow down through three hours but this movie just kept going flat out 100% so it was really interesting the whole time I thought the movie also had a great soundtrack a good look and tone and setting for all the scenes because it was set in a different time period not too long ago but still it looked a bit like a different time period the early 90s and all that so I thought they um, set that up pretty well it was definitely one of Leonardo DiCaprio's best films um, I highly recommend it not 21 young because it did have a lot of stuff in it but I'm going to give The Wolf of Wall Street a very high A so thanks guys for watching my quick review of The Wolf of Wall Street one of the best films of the year by far I think um, a lot of my other favourite films were like The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug uh, Man of Steel and Prisoners, so they're all my favourite films, as well as um, Saving Mr. Banks, I thought was a really good film also, so I'm hoping to see some of those films get nominated for Academy Awards this year, and hopefully Leonardo DiCaprio will actually be able to win one of the best um, actor Oscar awards for a change, rather than just being nominated all the time. So thanks again for watching my review, it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you later guys, bye!